everyone, it's Lisa Workman here. Welcome to watching our show, Find It in Fergus Falls. This is the Chamber Show where we get to feature our members. Today we are downtown Fergus Falls. We're being serenaded by Canadian geese. That's awesome. I love seeing them uh, flock. But they're letting us know that it is fall. It's, it's still fall. They're migrating. And uh, we've got some great things here at the flour mill to show you, including a fusion glass class that's coming up for over the river, some fall decorating ideas, some winter decorating ideas. Hey, you guys, be quiet. <laughs> Anyhow, come on in. We're going inside to the flour mill. Welcome back to Find It in Fergus Falls. We're downstairs now. This is a big secret. Brittany Smith is joining us now with Stained, and we are in Santa's workshop. We are. Yep. And the elves will be bustling here um, for Over the River Festival, and we're going to show you how easy it is to do, um, well, to make some really unique Christmas decorations, right? Yep. So tell us a little bit about what's going to happen at Over the River. And So Over the River, typically uh, people come down here, we do $10 um, Christmas ornaments, so you could come down. You pick a base out of this container here, and then we have little pieces to kind of add to your piece. So Lisa's here is doing a snow globe. Okay. So we start Very with cool. the base, the circle. So this is like the globe part, part here. Yep. Okay, and all these you guys pre-cut. We so pre-cut them all, super yep. Super simple and easy. Yep. And relatively safe. Yes, relatively. <laughs> Still glass. <laughs> Always be so. careful around the edges. Yes, but. there you go. Okay. And then you just use a little bit of this Elmer's glue here and okay. you'll put your base, you'll overlap it so that when it goes into the kiln, those will melt together and they'll fuse into a nice um, solid ornament there. Okay, and so do I put it? Yep, you can put a little at the bottom there the bottom, yep. just and just rest that there. on top. Okay, and this is called glass fusing. Glass fusing, glass yep. fusing. okay. And then so, we pre-cut all of these little pieces so we made a bunch of trees okay. and some um, so trunks I put there. A little dab of goo on the side yep. and make a mess. <laughs> Again, anyone can do this, even people that have no idea what they're doing, right? And they all turn out unique at the end. We can even have, like, we have samples here of different styles, and even though everybody picks even the same one, they all turn out differently. Sure. So. Oh yeah, super, super cute. Yeah. So people can make something like this, they can do something if they're extra creative, they could do something totally, totally random on their own. I've random. seen a lot of random ones. Yep. Um, now, what ages are able to do to make these? As long as there's um, parent supervision, we can. We've had like down to five year olds before. We've done we've done birthday parties down here where we've had younger kids, and as okay. long as they have parents supervising, sure, um, it works out pretty well. Yeah, it's it's not that difficult. Nope, and we've had up to ages over seventy, so. Well, and two, the clear glue is really um, forgiving, I hope. Yes, absolutely. Okay, so I got a little snow. Yep, so you can add snow wherever you want, if you want it on the base or on the trees or. Yeah, let's put some of that right on. Some people add some of these little dots too, if you wanted to, as little snowflakes. Oh, sure. Well, let's put some. I don't even know where to put it, but we're <laughs> going to put it here. And do a little snowflake on the top. This is fun and super easy, and you guys provide all of the supplies. Now, I'm guessing that um, you don't have the people that are making this cook it. They're right. No, nope, <laughs> absolutely. Probably not, keep it's them. probably not the correct term. But. <laughs> Over the River Festival, we typically have... Uh, these ornaments just kind of scattered on every flat surface that you see around here and we spend probably the next week or two um, Putting them in and out of the kiln in batches. We can fit probably about 50 at a time in there depending on the sizes Okay, and then um, At the end we'll, we give them a, give everybody a call We make a big long spreadsheet with all the phone numbers and call everybody oh, like and tell them it's re yep, ready to pick up so that took me all of about a couple minutes yep. to do that. So and then we add a hook on the back when we put it in the kiln, and you can hang it on the Christmas tree or in a window or. Fantastic! Yeah. So this will be on 
Saturday for the Over the River Festival. What are the hours that you guys are going to be doing? We're this? going to do 10 to 3 if okay. for Fusing. And people can just show up or do they need to make an appointment? No, nope, people for? can just show up. We have somebody um, just giving plates and taking money at the uh, entrance there. Sure. And then you just come in. Sometimes people are down here for 20 minutes. Sometimes people are down here for 45 minutes. It doesn't so it matter. Just, it doesn't matter. Nope. Whatever, just however open. long that you take. And let's, let's take a look at some of yeah. these here. These are, these are absolutely gorgeous little creations here that people have made right yep and these styles so with like the penguin and the reindeer here they come in little kits too so the reindeer is a big one for a lot of younger kids it's really okay. easy for them to put together and spice it up if they want to add colors or yeah. and these gnomes are darling super super <laughs> cute um so what if you can't make it here on over the river festival you can always call us to set up a time we do small groups like birthday parties or just uh, family reunions we've okay. done christmas in july with families before oh, that fun. come for their reunion to make christmas ornaments um we also will have a couple pop-ups we typically do one at fergus brewing yep and then we should be open on we're thinking wednesdays uh, in december to just come in and kind of do open fusing sure too, so kind of open open work santa's workshop will exactly. be open on wednesdays <laughs> yep. i like that um so like you said there's no skill really that's required no nope. um nope. you can be as creative or as simple as you want so. sure and like you said you can take anywhere from a few minutes i'm sure people will be a little more careful than I was. I kind of got glue all over, but it's clear. So it burns off. That's a good thing. That's a good thing to know. Um, you know, and another thing that I think of too, you know, coming from the chamber's perspective, how about like activities for team building or um, office getaways or office parties or things like that? It's Is that perfect. something that you guys can do? Yep. We have done that many times. It works out really well. So people can bring like snacks in. Typically we reserve like a two hour section Sure. and you can bring snacks and do fusing for the first hour and then kind of hang out. Some people can snack and some people can keep working. Or, okay. Yep. And you just call to set that up. Very cool. Um, let's see. What other questions do I have? So. These will be ready in time for Christmas, yep. right? If people want to give them as gifts. Yep. Uh, Over the River is kind of that open workshop day um, for that Saturday. And, and again, great kid-friendly activity. Absolutely. Uh, again, like you said, something that uh, friends can get together, coworkers, families. I think that would be a great tradition to get together as a family and come down and make Christmas ornaments. And we have a lot of people year. who come down and tell us that too. Like we came last year or people who ask us throughout the year, are you guys going to do that again? Because my family loves to come to that. Yeah. So it's pretty awesome. So to see what, over what the about years. if people think, well, I'm really not crafty. That's what I hear literally every time anybody <laughs> comes down here and their piece always turns out good. Yeah. There is no great, going wrong. Great examples of the glass fusion here. Um, and then you also do traditional stained glass. We do. Yep. So yep. you, do you guys um, offer some classes to teach people how to do that? We have one more class coming up on the 15th to do a bear sun catcher. We typically try to do those monthly. December, we usually stick to just ornaments because it gets so busy, so busy. with those. Um, but we'll start again in January doing little sun catcher classes and then also the beginner six week class that we do. Okay. Um, Sally teaches that one and it's six weeks. Um, every Tuesday night from 6 to 8 p.m. And so folks, come can, in. they can learn all the basics and yep. how to do all that. Exactly, too. from start to finish, and then they get to pick their own pattern under 20 pieces as well. Fantastic. Um, and then I would bet Facebook is a good place to find where you have some different workshops yep. or events going on. Facebook or our website. We now have a website. So Fantastic. They can yeah. check that out. Mm -hmm. All that kind of good stuff. Well, again, uh, thank you, Brittany, for the quick Absolutely. class on how to do this. <laughs> Uh, the glass fusion here at the flour mill is part of stain. We're in the workshop. We're in the lower level here. So yep. this is like where all the magic happens. Exactly. Yes. So thanks for making it so easy. For sure. Thanks for making one. You bet. We'll be back after a little break. Wash and go. Get your shine on. Wash and go. While you may not mind driving around with a dirty vehicle, the truth is, dirt is abrasive and can eat away at your car's clear coat over time. Wash & Go is open 24 hours, 7 days a week to keep your car clean and shining. Wash & Go, a locally owned business supporting our local community. Wash local with Wash & Go. And don't forget to download the Touch for Wash app for unlimited car wash packages. Wash & Go, get your shine on. Wash & Go, Wash & Go. Well, now we are upstairs here at the flour mill with Courtney Smith. And Courtney, you guys are like decked out for multiple seasons and multiple times a year. Yes. Uh, you've really, um, you know, adapted to Mother Nature who <laughs> threw us this like early winter, you know, snowball. And, yeah. uh, but really it helps people plan and get ready for the holidays. So 
let's talk a little bit about Christmas decorating or the holiday, the winter decorating, because you guys are ready for that, aren't you? Yes. Tell us about some of the stuff that um, people can get right here at the flower mill. So we can do um, outside spruce tops. Um, Those we, are so popular, yes. right? Yeah, definitely. We have like the regular bunches, and then we also do get the mixed ones in. Um, we have pine garland. Um, we can do like window boxes and stuff okay. too. So if somebody's got a window box at their house, could they do they bring it into you or? You can do it either way. Okay. Either you can bring in the window box, we can put it together for you, or you can grab the spruce tops and then make it yourself. Sure. And the spruce tops, uh, I am not a floral arranger. Like, <laughs> you guys are so talented and you make, you know, just a handful of flowers or uh, pine tops. The spruce tops look so great. I don't have those skills. What are some tips that you can offer for somebody that's putting those spruce tops in they're not frozen dirt. <laughs> right, yes. So, um, easiest to... Kind of see. start with maybe like the tallest Yeah, one, start or? in the center with the tallest ones, kind of clean up like the bottom needles and stuff. Sure. And then, yeah, just shove it into the dirt, start in the center, kind of work your way around, and then I, it always looks good. I mean, yeah. I don't think you can go wrong with any type of designing. <laughs> Literally, with the spruce tops, I think they're foolproof. Yes. Like I said, I, I don't do that stuff at all. And I stick it in there, I'm like, eh, not too bad. <laughs> and then you can stick in, like, you guys do some of the little accent things, too. Yes. Tell us about some of the colors that are available. Yeah, we have, like, berries, um, and those come in, like, red, white, silver, gold, um, some with glitter, some more natural. Um, we can do, like, the dogwood branches or curly willow, pine cones. The pompous grass is really popular. Oh, oh yeah, that's what I hear. So, yeah. All kinds of fun things. So that's a great way to get, um, you know, get over the sadness of your plants being yes. frozen. Um, again, you know, you want your dirt to be thawed. So yes. thawed in the garage or inside in your entryway or whatever before you try to jam them in there. <laughs> yeah. And then afterwards, do you continue to water it or do you water it at all? So you can, after you get it all assembled, pour some water in there. Um, just the first time and sure. then that'll freeze it in place. Okay. And then yeah, they look good until spring. Yeah, and th they're a great thing. So uh, with the spruce tops, I would imagine those go quickly. Yes. Best route to call an order ahead? Yes. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll get them in starting now um, and then, I mean most through like November. So. Sure. Good throughout the month of November. Mm -hmm. Um, can people have you guys assemble them and they pick one up? Yes. You know, planter or something like that? Yes, we'll have some that are pre-arranged um, that you can just buy the whole pot already done or you can bring in your own pot and sure. we can put it together for you. Well, it is a great way to transition from, you know, your dead patio <laughs> plants <Yes>. into something <laughs> beautiful. So let's talk a little bit about some of the things that you have here because like I said, you have Christmas decor, people can come in and let's say they're unpacking uh, their holiday decor and they find things are <laughs> smashed or you know they're just tired. You know, don't yeah. keep your stuff forever. You guys yes. have some great replacements here. Yeah. Look at these beautiful arrangements and <laughs> decor here that you could people can come in and mm -hmm. they can literally like buy it right off the fireplace. Yes, definitely. Yeah, we have silks. Um, either stems or we can do soap arrangements as well. Okay. Um, yeah, if you like the base that you see, we can put something together or again, bring in your own. Sure. Um, we have candles, we have um, some locally made uh, mittens that we'll have. Sure. Oh, fun. Um, yeah. Fun to decorate with those. Yeah, too. definitely. We put them on trees before and yep. they look cute. Yeah. <laughs> now, so we're kind of doing things in backwards order a little bit, but that's okay because we want to talk to the planner aheaders first <laughs> with the holidays. Yes. And when I think holidays, I think of Christmas and the pines and all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. How about for Thanksgiving and fall? You still have some fantastic fall decorations and ideas here too. Yeah, yeah, we still have um, fall stems, we have fall arrangements, um, either fresh or artificial. Um, Mums and all kinds of fun little things that folks can decorate with. Too. Yeah, definitely. And of course, we're at the flower mill, so yeah. <laughs> fresh flowers, never out of season, never out of style, mm -hmm. right? I would bet that uh, folks probably don't buy flowers enough. And you know, if you buy it on, on a regular basis, yeah. then people don't think you're in trouble for something, right? <laughs> exactly. 
So um, tell us about your like your grab and goes and uh, market Mondays and yes. and the name of the week. Yeah, so we get um, new like grab and goes every week. Um, we have a couple different price points, which are great. Um, you can stop in if you have your own base. It's really nice and easy. Yeah. Um, we have Market Monday, which would be every Monday we have half off of loose flowers. So okay. you can kind of create your own little bunch. And what a way to start your week off right. You know, get a new fresh <laughs> flower arrangement yes. or bouquet or something to throw in your vase at home mm -hmm. uh, every week. Spruce it up maybe your desk or your kitchen table or, mm -hmm. you know, anywhere. Living room doesn't matter. <laughs> you can't not smile when you see fresh flowers. Yes. Yeah, and then we have the name of the week, which changes each week. Um, and then if that is your name, you can stop in for a free rose. Yeah, well, all kinds of great stuff here at the Flower Mill. Of course, gift ideas, essential oils. Um, we've got stained glass gifts. Mm -hmm. We we learned from Brittany how yeah. the glass fusion <laughs> works and classes that are coming up. Um, just thanks for brightening up and cheering up the folks <laughs> all around Fergus Falls. We appreciate it, Courtney. Yeah, thank you. You bet. All right, we'll be back after a little break. <laughs> The future is fast. The future is reliable. The future is local. The future is fiber. Park Region is committed to bringing fast, reliable, local fiber to South Battle Lake. Connect with us today at 218-998-2000 to go beyond the connection. Wow, so many amazing things going on here at the Flower Mill. I invite you to come on downtown Fergus Falls, right next to the Viking Cafe. Pick up a gift and this great selection of already made stained glass gifts. Don't forget about the Fusion Workshop for Over the River Festival. And again, flowers here at the Flower Mill, they're always in season. I'm Lisa Workman, this has been Find It in Fergus Falls, and we'll see you again next time.